fantastic beasts, the crimes of Grindelwald. Is it fantastic? Are there beasts? Do you pronounce it Grindelwald or Grindelwald? I don't know. But anyway, one's ready. Let's go. How's it going guys? It's Justin. I've just taken the latest step back into the wizarding world and let me tell you that this is definitely a movie full of twists and turns and fun surprises and unexpected surprises, especially at the end. We're not going to talk about that, but this is a non-spoiler review. I'm a big fan of the Harry Potter franchise and this brand new entry into the cinematic universe that is the wizarding world has everything a hardcore fan would desire out of a movie kind of like this. Hey, it's written by JK Rowling and she wrote the last one and because of that the amount of detail in this universe is massive. A newcomer to the franchise would probably see this film, if they saw this film first they'd probably freak out, they'd be like that's a lot of stuff going on and I have no idea what's happening, but maybe I can be interested in the, in the story that's happening and I think it works. You've got a few characters that are split up and it's like that story and that story and that story and yeah, maybe it doesn't work that well. Um, there isn't a singular main character of the film unless it's Grindelwald. Maybe they've taken a page out of the Marvel playbook and instead of it being the heroes are on their own journeys, it's actually about the journey of the villain and how the villain story will interact and interconnect with everybody that he meets. Not to say that we don't still get to enjoy Newt's commander as our hero of the day. Um, he was in the last film and he was definitely the kind of bumbling hero, but he, I think personally the Newt's commander character would work better as a side character. And I think this film kind of actually made him a bit of a side character. Grindelwald is definitely more engaging and more interesting to watch because it's Johnny Depp and Johnny Depp is pretty much great in everything that it does except for all the Pirates of the Caribbean sequels. Yeah. That's your brother? I think that might have been the best moment of my life. I've got to say though, as a fan of the franchise, reading the screenplay is probably a no-brainer. If everybody else has read the books for the Harry Potter films, read the screenplays for these movies because the amount of detail that is spoken because of the way that J.K. Rowling is as a writer, a lot of the detail isn't in the visuals, even though the visuals are astounding, and that's very much thanks to David Yates and his direction. But there's something about these kind of films that I think it benefits from being able to read it. Whether it, when it comes out on home video, it's reading the subtitles and actually truly understanding what all the characters and all the jargon actually means. All you Harry Potter fans out there might enjoy the extra details, I certainly do, and it's always good to be able to see the brand new stuff that comes out of Miss Rowling's mind. There is something a little bit odd about some of the choices that some of the characters make though. Like it's something that didn't really meld with the way that their character has been up until now and the choices that they've done I think serve more the franchise than the film itself so we'll see how that turns out. All the performances in the movie they were pretty good there's nothing to really write home about nobody's going to be winning any Oscars for any of the acting in this film but what could garner some Oscar bars is the production design. These Wizarding World films they look spectacular and there is something about the direction, whether it be from J.K. Rowling's brain or whether it be from the director himself, whether it be from the production designer, whether it doesn't matter who it's from. But this film and all of the other Wizarding World films that have come before it, they truly have a really great style to them. And once again, we are in the 1920s, so we get to have a little bit of the old school look and feel of what it used to look like back in those days, especially for the Wizarding World. All in all guys, this brand new entry in the Harry Potter universe is definitely one that the fans are going to crave and one that the casual fans are just going to enjoy because they like seeing these people again. Are you looking forward to this film? If you are, let us know in the comments below. Let us know everything that you're excited about this movie and if you've already seen it, let us know spoiler free because we've got to protect those secrets. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on all of the socials. Links are in the description. Anyway, my name's Justin, and until next time, I will see you nerds at the movie.